Let's talk about internet security in TwinGate. TwinGate allows you to implement secure DNS, which includes DNS over HTTPS to encrypt all DNS traffic, whether it is meant for TwinGate resources or not, but also DNS filtering. The easiest way to implement this in TwinGate today is to head over to your internet security tab in the admin console and click on enable secure DNS. Upon selecting Enable Secure DNS, you'll be prompted to choose TwinGate's native DNS filtering in DOH, or to use a third-party DNS provider instead. The simplest option is to opt in for TwinGate's native DNS filtering, which you can enable by clicking Enable Secure DNS. Once you do this, you're immediately protected for all TwinGate clients connecting to your tenants, we block many different security categories that we can go over uh, a little bit later, but it also allows you to define group exceptions that will not benefit from DOH or DNS filtering. And it also allows you to explicitly allow some domains or deny some domains like it's the case here for lego.com. Now, the Categories that we block by default are around threat intelligence. We use Google Safe Browsing as well, uh, protect against crypto jacking, preventing devices from mining cryptocurrencies. We protect against DNS rebinding attacks, um, domains with malicious names or domain with names that mimic known and trusted domains uh, and more. Now, the way this looks from a client perspective is that if you connect to a TwinGate client while DNS filtering is activated in your environment, and if you try to navigate to lego.com in this case, the request will be blocked because DNS filtering is active by default in my client and the client is preventing connections to the or all of the domains that are in the deny domain list here. Now, if you don't wish to use TwinGate's native DNS capabilities, you can also use a third party DNS, which will be able to provide at the very least DNS over HTTPS, and in some cases, DNS filtering as well as DOH. All the providers here will provide DOH by defaults, you can even use a custom DOH provider as long as it supports a URL format. And in some cases, like for NextDNS, OpenDNS or Cloudflare, you could benefit from DNS filtering on the side of those vendors. All you have to do is simply select which option to choose and you will benefit from DOH and in some cases DNS filtering from third parties as well. Finally, if you activate secure DNS in TwinGate, you can ensure that the client stays on for your end users. So in its default configuration, any user could go and click log out and disconnect. But with a small configuration change on the client side, you can make it so that the client cannot be exited by an end user. I've just made the modification in my environment. And now if I click on the client, I can no longer quit the client. So that's a setting on the client side that you can push using any MDM. On top of preventing users from being able to exit and log out of the client, you can also make the client process persistent by on macOS, either using a launch agent or adding a keep alive flag to the P list of the TwinGate client application. And on Windows, you could roll out a detection script to detect the presence of the TwinGate client and a remediation script that starts the client should the client be offline, which allows you to keep your users protected with DOH and DNS filtering, even if they're not using TwinGate actively. Thank you.